what's up everybody i'm just going to do a quick overview of uh the mods that i've done to my subaru wrx yes it does have an sti spoiler um i'm sure i'm going to get uh, some hate comments for that but i mean let's be honest sti spoiler is pretty sick so whatever i'll do it anyways so starting from the exterior i got the diode dynamics sea light those things are super bright white and crisp i love them um, I painted the, the headlight black and I got the uh, smoked here. I put the LED bulb in there. Uh, I believe I have 6K um, LED lights inside. I don't know for sure. I kind of forget. That was like the very first thing I did. Next, I have the, uh, like the fog light and turn signal delete. These act as my turn signals. And to me, it was just too much. So I just deleted them. Honestly, I think it looks better in my opinion. It's much cleaner looking. Uh, there's not as much like going on down here. You can see right here, uh, there is a front mount intercooler. It's uh, kind of hard to miss. I love that thing. It is a ETS, it's three and a half inches. Um, I literally love it, it's amazing. All right, let's go over to the side here. I'm on stock wheels for now, but they, they look pretty good for stock wheels. I'm on Fortune Auto. 500 series with the uh, Swift Spring upgrade. I love those things. They ride better than stock in my opinion. And then I have some Rally Armor mud flaps, just black out with, uh, I believe it's gray lettering. You can't really see it there. Moving on, let's go to the back here. I got some LED bulbs and the license plate. I actually did the tail by turn mod. I freaking love this mod it's amazing it's like uh, I think a hundred bucks for the whole kit if you guys don't know what that is this light becomes your turn signal instead of this bulb and then this whole thing becomes your reverse light it's super bright I highly recommend it it's an easy mod to do it took me five minutes and then I have the Nvidia R400 catback exhaust it's a little dirty sorry for the dirtiness of the car I haven't washed it in a little bit but I got the R400 uh, catback exhaust with the stainless tip. I didn't want to be like the typical other people and get the uh, the blue tips, so I went stainless. I'm also running the Invidious or not Invidious, wow, the uh, Nvidia Catalyst downpipe. That sucked to install, but uh, you know you got to do it if you're gonna be a race car. It's really it for exterior wise. I got five percent tint all around. I got the windows open in the front here. And then I also have 50% on the windshield. I can see very well at night. Don't, uh, don't think I can, because I really can. Let's uh, pop the hood real quick. Show you which I got under here. All right, under the hood, I have the Cobb Big SF intake. I love it. Um, honestly, I would have went with a different brand. I forget the brand off the top of my head right now, but uh, I don't like the way this is mounted, the uh, the intake right here. I'd rather have it come up. It would have been not much nicer. Uh, most recently, I did the Perrin pitch mount uh, brace with the bracket in the back and then the stainless steel braided line for the clutch. That was a nice little touch. Haven't noticed much of a difference, to be honest. Um, also, I don't do a whole lot of like hard pulls and racing and all that, so couldn't tell you if it works or not. I have the IAG catch cam. I love this thing. It, I just love it. I highly recommend it for you guys. Do it. And then, as you see, I got the ETS front mount. There's the uh, piping there. I'm also running a tile recirculating blow-off valve, or not blow-off, bypass valve. It's right back here. You can't really see it right now. I'm also running Cobb Flex Fuel. I run a E65. It, on the dyno the other day, I got Mikey body tuned. On E65, it made 370. On 93, it made 300. That's horsepower. Off the top of my head, I forget what torque was, but I mean, let's be honest, horsepower is what we all care about. Um, under hood, I got the IAG uh, TGV deletes. I also have the lower deletes. Um, I just got them in the mail today. I haven't installed them. I'll do that later. 
Also, I have the EGR Delete by IEG as well. And for under hood, I believe that's about it. So let's go inside. <clears throat> All right, for inside, obviously I have the Cobb Access port. I mean, shoot, everybody has that. I did a LED bulb swap in the interior because that's highly important. I have, for shifter wise, I have the Boomba short shifter with the parent, uh, I forget what that piece is called. It's literally like right here. And the parent shifter bushing and the Boomba um, shifter plate. I love this setup. As you can see here, it kind of like angles it off to the left here. More driver oriented, I guess you could call it. I love it. It literally the best shifter I've ever had in all my my race cars. Not that I have race cars, but I also have the parent transmission mount under here as well. I think that's about it for all my mods. Um, I just want to do a quick overview of the car. I had a couple people ask me on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Cayman, C-A-I-M-E-N-H, and then an underscore. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I post tons of pictures of installations and uh, just the whole process. Oh, I'm also running a uh, three-port, well, whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, boost controller thingy from Grimspeed. Um, if you have any questions on any of my installs, uh, just go on Instagram and I plan on posting some more WRX videos. Um, if you watch my past videos of my Mustang or my Colorado, I used to do a lot more videos. I'm just kind of, I'll probably just end up doing like reviews and other little things now. But uh, thanks for watching. Peace.